Hey guys, Papa Pete back again. Time for another pickup video. Just recently, I took a trip down to Halifax, Nova Scotia, and on my way through Moncton, New Brunswick, I got a chance to stop at Spinit Records and pick up a few more things. I always get some amazing things when I stop at Spinit, so stick around. I can't wait to show them to you. Papa Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. Grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. Okay, guys, since we're in Moncton, New Brunswick, I got a very special beer to show you today. I have got a beer put out by Pickaroons of Fredericton, New Brunswick, uh, called The Beast. Now, it's named after a famous wrestler that's from the Moncton area, Dorchester, New Brunswick, actually, uh, named Yvonne Cormier. Cormier. Now, there are four Cormier brothers who wrestled in Atlanta Grand Prix Wrestling. There was Bobby Kay, Rudy Kay, Leo Burke, and of course the Beast, Yvonne Cormier. And they were infamous back in the territor territory days, back before the WWF took it all uh, national. There's just so much great history here in Atlanta, Canada. All the great NWA wrestlers came through this area, whether it was Ric Flair, Andre the Giant, all the greats through the 70s and 80s. And actually, it's a little known fact is that uh, back in 1978, Angelo Poffo came and wrestled in Atlanta Grand Prix for the promoter, Abel Dupre, and he brought his two sons to get them started in the business. It was Lanny Poffo and Randy Poffo. Well, it was quite a battle all summer long as Leaping Lanny took on Randy Macho Man Savage, and they earned their stripes. And they, and you know how well how well it came for both of them afterwards. Man, they just went right to the top. Especially Randy, of course, Randy Macho Man Savage is a famous name inside and outside the wrestling world. Anyway, Pickaroos put this great beer out. It's got a beautiful uh, golden color. Oh. And just like the beast, it hits you hard. Right on. So it's pretty appropriate, huh? Atlanta Grand Prix was based out of Moncton, New Brunswick, and today's pickups all come from Moncton, Spin It Records. I had a great stop there the other day. Let's start off with something kind of special. You saw a few months ago, I picked up a couple marquees. So I went in, and you know, there's about 25 of them there last time I was there, and I picked up two, and there was only a half dozen or so left. But I did pick up one more marquee for my collection, and I picked up Omega Race. Wasn't very much, I got it for 20 bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Original marquee. I don't know if you remember the game Omega Race. I can remember playing it in the arcades where you had a square in the middle and you basically raced around the outside. But it was graphics very similar, vector graphics very similar to Asteroids. And you shot, I don't know if you shot opponents or not, but you shot uh, enemies and rocks and things as you tried to race around that cube. Very interesting game. Really enjoyed it. One thing about Spinit Records is when I'm there, I usually can get different games for all my collections. So I did this time too. I only got one game for my Xbox collection though, but it was a really good deal. I got a complete inbox copy of Avatar The Last Airbender. This is just like an adventure game based upon the movie, a licensed game from Nickelodeon. And uh, it was like half the price of what it lists for normally, and it's in really good shape. It's probably been there quite a while. It even came with the next game, Nick Games Guide inside of it. So I was really happy to pick that one up. The next two games I picked up were for my NES collection. I haven't been picking up a whole lot for my NES collection lately, but man, when I do, I really do enjoy it. And the first one I picked up, I couldn't believe I didn't have it yet. I picked up a copy of Star Tropics. Of course, we all know Star Tropics. It's like a different premise, but it's very much like a Zelda game. Uh, very Americanized. There's no fantasy involved. It's just a kid. I can't even remember what the kid's name is. Mike or something like that. And it's very unique type of game. Highly, highly rated, but I don't think it was a huge seller back at the time. I don't know if it came out late or what the story is. But at the end of the day, uh, they had this one priced really well. I got it for like eight bucks Canadian. So about five bucks American, six, six bucks American, maybe in between the two. And uh, just really happy to finally add that to my collection. Now, the other game I picked up was a Tengen game, and I'm always looking for Tengen games because it's one of those little subsets that I always want to get, and that is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. 
I really love Indiana Jones. The games are okay, but what's kind of unique about this one is there's two different Indiana Jones and the Temples, Temple of Doom. There's, I think it's Ubisoft, or it's at least it's not Tengen. And uh, I didn't have either version, actually, so I was really happy to add this one to my collection. And it was a pretty good price, too. It was like, I got it for, it says 10 bucks, but I think it was a big sale, because actually I think it was Black Friday when I was up there that weekend. And I got like 30% off, so it was a really good deal, like 7 bucks. So I was really happy to pick that one up. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Tengen version. The last three games I picked up at Spinit Records were all for my Atari collection. I've told you before, I picked up a lot of different Atari games. They brought in a real big collection there back last summer. And I've been picking them up little by little. There's still quite a few of them there. So I always can find two or three. And when it was 30% off that day, taxes are all included there as well. Uh, I just couldn't resist. First of all, I picked up a game we're all very familiar with, but I got it the Sears Telegame version of Space Invaders. Again, got the manual, got the carrot, the box is in good shape, and I had been looking on, at one of these on eBay for about almost twice as much in American money as I got this one for in Canadian. So I was really, really happy to pick that up. I love getting all kinds of different Sears games, whether it's the Sears Super Video Arcade, the Intellivision ones. I really love to have all 29 of those. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get all of these because these are so expensive, some of them, some of the Atari versions. But I did pick up a second one as well. I picked up a copy of Soccer. Basically, it's Championship Soccer or Pele Soccer. It's got a different, couple different names uh, for the actual Atari version. Um, don't think I got that one wrong. Like I got it wrong the other day with uh, Maze. It's uh, it's just plain old soccer. 54 games. Anyway, whenever I can add things to my Sears Telegames uh, collection for the Atari, I I grab them at any chance. Great ad, great additions. Now the last pickup is a game that I'll tell you the truth I was not at all familiar with. I saw it there last summer, and. The price seemed pretty good because the condition was incredible. It's one of these obscure uh, Atari 2600 games. And it is Quest for Quintana Roo. I had never heard of this game before I first saw it. And I've seen a couple reviews. I think the No Swear Gamer did a review of it not too long ago. Um, I don't know if I normally pick up things like this that are right off the wall like that, but this one's in just such amazing condition. And the price was right, and the sale was right, and here we go. So how can I not? Uh, so happy to add that to my collection. It's like an adventure type game, and as much of an adventure game as you can get for the Atari 2600. Uh, I had never heard of it before, so it obviously can't be super popular, but uh, man, nonetheless, when you can add a game like this, that's awesome. I just simply love it. Well, guys, that's it for my, I guess I'll call it my Moncton New Brunswick theme pickup video because I got the beer featuring the beast, Duvon Cormier from Memorum Cook, New Brunswick. Man, what a great wrestler. Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling was absolutely amazing. I grew up with it. One of the old territory wrestlings. I'm sure that if you are my age and you used to love wrestling, you remember the old territories all over. I love the WWF too, but there's just something that's taken away from it that these smaller territories don't have anymore. Anyway, and man, the theme music, I gotta play it in the background here. You can't beat that theme music. Spit of records, Xbox pick pickups, Xbox pickups. I've got great NES pickups. And geez, it doesn't get any better than obscure Atari complete in box pickups and Sears Telegames. Man, just so great. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me today, and we'll see you next time I get some more pickups. Take care. The old ass gamer. The old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up. I'm RT85. You're watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. My voice is kind of out. We're at too many games. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. What the hell?